the challenge of the Yukon. On, King! On, you husky! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes a trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Knotted Police who preserve law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog king met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. It was the latter part of winter in the Yukon. Food was getting scarce, and starving wolf packs could be heard howling in the wilderness. Sergeant Preston and Jean DeVal were hunting caribou to replenish their meat supply. The early darkness was approaching when Jean called to the Mountie. Look, Sergeant, over here. Bloody tracks. Something has been wounded. Hmm, they look like dog or wolf tracks. Let's follow them, Jean. They're quite fresh. Strange, the wolves have not found it. These tracks, they look like animal is weak. Almost at the staggering stage. Careful. Must be under those sprucies. Look at his wolf. Hello, wolf. He's part dog. Hello, boy. Yeah, he is more wolf than dog from where she acts. He's been shot in the leg, poor fella. He's weak from loss of blood. We better shoot him, put him out of misery, no? Maybe we can save him, Gene. His leg may not be broken. Hmm, he'd make a good sled dog. Here, fella, let me... Look. What life is left in him, he will use to take off your hand. His former master must have been pretty cruel. With scars around his head and shoulders. He's been beaten, often. Uh, maybe it is better we do not try to save him, the poor animal. A dog like this is always a challenge to me, somehow. I'd like to see what kindness and good treatment can do. You have tamed some bad ones, Sergeant, I know. This fellow's too weak to put up much of a fight, Gene. I'm going back to get my sled and dogs. You stay here and guard him till I get back, will you? I will watch him, yes, Sergeant, but I don't make a friend of him. Jean DeVal, interested in the progress Preston was making with the wolf dog, came to his cabin the following week. Well, how you get along with this wolf dog we catch, Sergeant? He is much better? His wound is better. But his disposition's still the same. He hates everything human. Someone's been terribly cruel to him. Yeah, such hate. It's hard to cure. I fed him every day and talked to him and got nothing but snarls for my trouble. Yeah, maybe it is better you do away with such animal, huh? I thought I'd let him out of his pen today. Maybe that's what's bothering him. Yeah, better you set up in the tree if you do. He'd make a fine sled dog, and he's been used that way before. You know, if he weren't unusually strong, he'd never have come through all the punishment he's taken. How can a man be so mean with a dumb animal? Uh, whoever owned him before was a beast. The dog's been badly mistreated. That's why I want to get him out of that pen. You know, I think someone penned him up and deliberately tortured him. What does King think of him, eh? I haven't tried to find out, but I think I will. <clears throat> come on with me, Jean. We'll take King with us and see what happens. Maybe I should watch from the window. Well, you can sit on top of the shed, Jean. You'll be safe there. Come on. King, where are you, boy? Yes, fella. Come on, King. Maybe you'll have to teach Thunder a lesson. <laughs> Wait until I climb on the shed before you open the door to the pen. All right, Jean. Well, you old thundercloud. You're growling at me, eh? It's a good name for you, Thunder. Now, Thunder, we're going to let you out of there for a while and see what happens. <laughs> Get back, King. Get over here. That's the boy. All right, Thunder. Come on, old boy. Here, Thunder. Get him, King. Maybe for you, King is here. Shoot that dog, he will kill King. King can take care of him. We'll let him fight. He has to find out the King is boss. The dogs rolled in the snarling heat. King, bigger and stronger than the wolf dog, could easily have killed him. But King was taught to master the dogs in his charge. Soon, Thunder was at his mercy. All right, King. He's had enough. Let him up. Get him back in the pen, King. Hey, what a dog you have, Sergeant. You can come down off the shed now, Jean. I think we'll be able to put Thunder in harness tomorrow.
Two weeks later, Gene was telling the story of how Thunder became Preston's sled dog when Preston came into his store. And now the Thunder, he is good sled dog. He is fine. Hello, Gene. Hi, John. Hello, Sergeant. Ah. I am just telling John about your new dog, Sergeant. I used to call him King's new dog. I doubt that I'll ever be able to call Thunder mine. What do you mean, Sergeant? He hates everything human. But he's accepted King and obeys him. Huh. Just the way a wolf obeys the leader of a pack. He's half wolf, ain't he? Maybe more than half, John. The only time he seems to show any interest in life is late at night when the wolves howl. He answers them, and if I didn't have him tied, he'd be away like a shot. Yeah. Someday you will lose him. He will go back to them, I think. I keep hoping he'll respond to kindness. He's a good, strong dog in harness, and as long as King's around to boss him, he's easy to handle. Sergeant Preston. Hello, Kulik. What's wrong? Nujak. Him murdered in Eskimo village. Nujak murdered? Why would anyone murder him? Man, kill him. Steal his furs. Take wife. Go away and boat. Oh, Nujak, you're a good, peaceful Eskimo. Come on, Kulik. My dog team's all ready. I'll go back to the Eskimo village with you now. Here is cabin of New Jack. This one. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, stop that. Thunder, what's the matter with you? That dog, him mad. Thunder, stop it, I say. King, stop him. Your sled upset. Look, him pull whole team in river. Thunder, come back here. Look, here's all the dogs in a tangle. Him mad. Look how hair stand up on back. What's he so excited about? Him follow tracks to river bank. Are these the tracks of the murderer? Yes. Him leave by boat. So that's the answer. Thunder knows the man who killed Nujak. Whoever he is, he's the reason Thunder hates men. <laughs> The murderer of New Jack had hidden his trail well. The Eskimos could give no description of him, and New Jack's wife, the only witness, was gone. It was three weeks later that Preston drove his team into the village of Twin Creeks. There was a crowd gathered at one end of the street. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey there. What's the crowd gathered for? Uh, Bill James is holding a dog team auction. He's going back to the stage. Stop it, Thunder. What's the matter with you? Uh, you must have a vicious husky there. Why do you muzzle him? I have to be careful with him in a crowded town. Quiet, Thunder. Guess I better take him out of harness and tie him up. He's acting strangely. Come on, fella. You're going on leash for a while. Stand still, you. Come back here. You got away. After him, Kane. <laughs> King could catch him, a huge wolf dog rushed into the crowd. With blind fury, he leaped at the throat of a half breed in its nest. Help! Take him away! Help! Devil dog! Help! This dog's mad! Kill him! Help! Shoot him! Stand aside! Get him off! That dog's muzzle, he can't hurt you. Let me get that leash. Get back, Thunder. Get off him. Go ahead, man, King. All right, you, get up. You're not hurt, this dog is muzzled. Where are you? Where you get that dog? That devil. Him, my dog. So he's your dog, is he? You mean you owned him at one time? I... I shoot him once. This time... Stop that gun! Oh, my hand! Good work, King. Don't try to pep that gun. These dogs would both like a chance at you now. What's your name? Blackie. Where do you live? Don't live here. Do any of you people know where this man comes from? Yeah, I, I think he lives in a shack at the edge of town. He ain't been here long. Uh, tie this dog up for me, will you please? Uh, are you sure he, he can't won't... bite you with that muzzle on? Uh, all right. Come on, you. Come on. Go on, Thunder. That's a good boy. Now, Blackie, I want you to take me to your cabin. I. I not take you to cabin. Would you like to have me take that muzzle off of Thunder and let him pay back some of the treatment you gave him? No, no. All right, Blackie. Lead the way to your cabin. And remember that King here is a bigger, stronger dog than Thunder, and he's going to be right behind you. You... You got 
no right to come in house. Get going, Blackie. Open the door. King's right behind you, and this gun is loaded. Who? Who's there? Go out, woman. Just a minute. I want to talk to you. Who is this woman, Blackie? Her. They're my sister. Your sister? That's not true. She's an Eskimo and you're part Indian. Who are you? Me, Nula. Him father marry my mother. No see long time. Oh, a stepbrother. Nula, are you by any chance the wife of Nujak? Nujak? Nula. Don't be frightened, Nula. He can't hurt you now. Tell me, are you the wife of Nujak? Him with me if I tell. He won't get a chance, Nula. Nujak, him my man. Tell me, Nula, did Blackie kill Jack? No tell. Him beat Nula. He'll never beat you again, Nula, I promise you that. Now you must tell me what happened that night in your cabin. You... You take Nula back home? Yes, you'll be safe from now on. Nuja catch fine furs. Him big hunter. Yes, I know he was. Blackie come. No see him long time. Him want furs from New Jack. Hit New Jack with gun. Were you there when it happened? Me see him. Him make Nula go with him. Beat her. Make her work. Me afraid. Well, so you beat women as well as dogs, Becky. You're under arrest for murder. Get your things back, Nula. We're taking you home to your family. As for Blackie here, he'll be put where he never hurts anyone again. Watch him, King. Darkness had closed over Sergeant Preston's cabin, and a bright moon painted the frozen land with a brilliant glow. A dead silence reigned over the valley. Suddenly, it was broken by a weird cry. Sergeant Preston stirred in his chair as the cry was answered just outside his cabin. Well, King, there goes Thunder again, answering the wolves. Let's go out and see him, Tom. Go on out, boy. Catching Blackie. I'm going to let you go. Now, you're free. <laughs> Stay here, King. Let him go. Look at him streak through that snow. Good luck, Thunder. <laughs> hear that, King? He has just enough dog in him to be gentleman enough to say goodbye. copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ in Detroit, and all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at the same time and reach you from our transcription studios. Al Neal speaking. This is the Mission Radio Network.